Hello everyone and welcome back to Clouds of Rain. Um, okay, so off screen I talked to the developer a little bit. Um, they actually did give me some tips to this fight. Let's see if I can pull that up real quick. Yeah, focus on the henchman. Um, then take out the big guy. And also use regen. Group regen is actually really useful in this fight. Um, I gotta say, though, I still think it's way too hard for its own good. You might be wondering why I'm not starting the battle with this fight. Um, it's because, uh... So, like, I did try another recording session of this. It was yet another hour of just me losing over and over again. I was getting closer, but, like, it just still felt really hard to me and, like, just a little too difficult even for this game. Um, so then I decided to, like, you know, pack up my recording for the day... And then I thought it'd be kind of nice to, like, practice this boss. So when I was, like, I was, like, uh, <clears throat> I was, like, talking with some friends in, like, a Discord VC that night. And I decided to just have this open practicing the fight. And I actually did it. I got really lucky. The bosses spent way more time healing each other and, like, guarding each other and, like, using row attacks that, like, no one was in the row of than they were actually hitting me. But I actually did it, and you know what? This fight was frustrating me so much that I'm just going to take that win. So you're not going to see the end of that fight, but just trust me, I, I did do it. Um, <laughs> when you kill the big guy, he just says no, and then like when you win the fight, um, it just takes a here. So, huh? Where'd, I, where'd they go? I'll think about that later. Also, I did mute the game. I hope... Um... I hope there's just no volume for this section. Sometimes when I like mute a game, like I do when I when I'm when I'm like doing recording stuff off screen, so I can like watch YouTube or like talk with friends as I play. When I turn it back on and like the audio mixer it doesn't actually turn on the audio, I really hope that um that the audio is on. So not such a uh, not such a tough guy about your men, huh? Where do you keep all the barrels? Okay, good, the volume's back on. Your hideout. Tell me where your hideout is. Aha! Your threats won't work on me. Come on, arrest me. I don't give a shit. You don't understand. You ba- uh, you bastard. It's only you and me here. I have a way of making you talk. Yeah, the- the, the two people that saved us actually disappeared, so... Wait. You're not joking. Okay, I'll talk. Do you see those papers? Among them is a map that shows where to find the hideout. There's nothing here. He's gonna escape. Uh, die, asshole. Oh, no. Okay, I do have light armor. So, like, I do have a bit of an advantage against this guy. Star of Life Shield, because I like the skill now. The developer also said that, like, focusing on lowering their defense is also a useful strategy, but I personally didn't really find it that useful. Actually, this is a little bit easier. Um, I personally didn't find that advice that useful because, um... Because, well, honestly, like, I would often do that, like, I would lower their defenses, but then they do so much damage that I have to spend time healing. And then by the time I get my health back, like, the debuff is gone. So, I don't know, like, I, I kind of explain this to developers in, in my DMs, but, like, I like the idea behind that fight. Like, in a game where the entire gimmick is prepare being making sure you're prepared for hard bosses, an ambush fight is kind of a cool idea to, like, subvert expectations. But I think there was just way too much going on in that fight. Like, you have it being an ambush boss, and then you have, like, the gimmick of them, like, pushing you back and then using the obliteration skill, uh, the, the obliterating magic attack. And then you have the gimmick of, like, them being able to speed each other up. Like, I think it was just way too much to handle at once. I'll use Life Shield again. I think I'm just waiting for the slowdown to wear off. Oh, or your defense up to wear off. I don't have a defense to down you anymore, but... 
Do I have that item that, like... No, I do not have that item that removes debuffs. Oh wait, you are fire elemented. That could work. Just do damage to him. That's fine. Ooh. Wait! Why do you have an ice spell? You're fire elemented! <laughs> oh god. I, I, from what I remember, you can't pull this guy forward for some reason, so... Did I really just lose? Oh, thank Christ I don't do that first boss over again. This battle does seem a lot easier, though. Do Star of Life Shield. I don't have to worry about charging it up, because the only utility that gives me is that it hits multiple characters. And, well, I, there is only one character here, so I don't really need to do that. Okay, that's good. Get Mighty Blow going. If it doesn't miss. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna spend a few turns healing and, like, sending a buffs anyway. <clears throat> Ooh, perfect. screenshot of this or anything, but I actually got a visual bug when I was doing that fight off screen um, with, like, infused power. The character in, like, the bottom rightmost area, the little infused aura just, like, stretches all the way to the side if you're that close to the end, or if you're that close to the border, which I thought was actually kind of funny, but... <laughs> Let's break your armor. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna go away soon. Don't miss this. Good, okay. Wait, okay, you win. I can help you. I know a special passage where you can get, uh, get in unnoticed. I'll tell you everything, man, just don't hurt me. You have to go through the sewers. I'm gonna draw you a map right away for real this time. You have to watch out for stray dogs. One of those little shits bit me once and I had to kick it to death. He stank. His stank. Wait. He stank work. You mean worse? He stank worse than a rotten carcass. I, I knew there was a typo there. I just couldn't figure it out for a second. You're a bastard. I have no. You have no respect. Respect for what? A dog? That bastard tried to bite my feet off. Fuck respect. Why'd you kill him? What are you talking about? What you? What do you care if it's already dead? Oh, right. You're a sky watcher. You love lost causes. Shut up. What's going? What's gotten into you now? Okay, I'll shut up if you're going to calm. If it's going to calm you down. Here we are. The lady lives here? Sure, I'll call her. Hey guys, look who's here. Oh no. What's up? Oh, it's them, right? Yeah, I know them. I saw them some time ago when they were brought- uh, when they were brought to the ca- When they were brought them to the castle. When they were brought to the castle. Who are you? Well, they're clearly not who you're looking for. Run! I'm a friend. Where's the lady? She's coming now. You're the adopted sons of the king, right? 
What are you doing wandering around alone at this hour? It's dangerous. Aren't you scared? No, we're not scared. I am. Let's go back to the castle. Oh yeah, the castle. Maybe that's not such a good idea. There are lots of bad people around at this hour, and it's very far away. Perhaps it's better for you to stay with me tonight. What's up, dog? This is a really pleasant, pleasant surprise, you know. You can uh, can help us a lot. Please, let's go. I'm scared. Let's go. Not so fast. Ooh, is that a new sprite? Uh, <laughs> no, please, let us go. We haven't done anything wrong. Stop yelling. You hurt me. We haven't done anything. I said shut the hell up. Do they want you for, like, ransom money or something? Like, jump down the well or something? We'll do anything you want, but don't hit him. Back off. Oh my god. Laika! No! Shit, get, uh, get it to shut up. I'll attract, it'll attract the guards. Oh my god. No! Leave him alone. Wait, I thought Laika was a her. Sen. Zane. Wait, that's... Are their stories coming together now? Zane? You okay? Oh, this music is scaring me. What happened? I had to do it. What went wrong? He attacked me. I had to defend myself. Why did he attack you? Have you been discovered? I think so. Were the two priests, like, hallucinations or something? Where were you? A group of men came out uh, of this place and spotted us. We managed to lose them. It took them a while, though. If that's the case, that would actually be a story reason as to why that fight was so hard. Because <laughs> when you think about it, like, we fought monsters, we fought, like, a small army once, but that was just a drunk guy and a few friends, so... This is a real mess. He shouldn't have died. Now we don't have any more leads, and... Actually, I know where to find the organization. He told me where, uh, while we were drinking, before he... Really? That's great news if the information is correct. You did a good job. You can go. It seems like you could use some rest, but write down the information before you go. I think he wrote the information down. Sure. Here. What a massacre. I've never seen Zane in that state. Yet something doesn't quite add up. He was outnumbered by so many men. It's a miracle he survived. And the color in his eyes, did I imagine that? Is he hiding something from me? I hope not. 
Bloody hell, Banks. You had to get involved in this, didn't you? Hey, who are those guys? They must be spies. Get them. Shit, there, uh, there's too many of them. Run. But you can't run from battles in this game. <laughs> Where are they? Find them. Oh, this is a stealth set. No, it's not. I thought I could pull up the menu, but I forgot you can actually do that like any time here. <laughs> Wait, that's Banks. Have you seen two assholes running away? Yes. They went that way. Follow me. Move. You owe me one. Hell, they gave me a direct order to capture you. And orders must not be questioned. I'm sorry, Banks. Watch your back. Oh, that was the end. Huh. I didn't expect the ending to take such a dark turn. <laughs> also, I guess that's another reason why that was so difficult. That was technically the final boss. I mean, there was one fight after it, but like... Come on, I, I, I don't think that really counts. Uh, <laughs> that was actually, like, really good. Uh, I didn't expect it to be as long as it was. I didn't expect to take such a dark turn at the end, but I kind of liked it. Like, this always kind of struck me as, like, a dark fantasy anyway. The story did feel like it ended kind of abruptly, though. It kind of makes me wonder if, like, a sequel is planned at some point or anything. Like, why did the kid yell out Zane's name right at the end? Is there a po Oh, there's a post credit scene. Maybe this will explain some stuff. You know, in my email to the developer, I said that, like, if I couldn't figure out that fight, a last resort is that I just play through the game again on the easiest setting and then make it a story LP from there. <laughs> Considering there was only one battle after that... Thank you, Adobe. <laughs> Considering there was only one battle after that, it's not like I would have missed much, so... My queen, they freed the children. Thank the gods. Oh, so she's back here now. That is great news. You will see that everything will go back to normal now. No. Not everything. Okay, so the kids are back at the castle now. They probably did just hold them for ransom money or something. Graphic line games. This might be a developer to keep your eyes on, like, if this is anything to go by. Okay, yeah, yeah, there is more to come. <laughs> I really like this. I gotta say, it's not often I get sent... Well, okay. I get sent games occasionally where they tell me that, like, the gimmick of the game is that it's difficult. I feel like a lot of them just go way overboard with the difficulty when they say that, though. I didn't really feel that way with this one. Like, aside from that last fight, like, I died to a boss once or twice, and then I go, okay, I know how to do this, I just need to strategize better. And, honestly, I really like that style of difficulty, where, like, you just get destroyed your first time doing the fight, and then you have to, like, slowly learn attack after attack, like, how to best avoid, or how to best, like, deal with different types of damage and stuff of the like. 
I gotta say, I think my only problem with the battle system is I think evasion is way too high. I really don't think evasion should be a stat in, like, games that are meant to be difficult, because it does lead to some frustrating moments where you can just lose by getting unlucky. I don't know, though. Um... Overall, though, I did really like the gameplay. I really like the story. The characters are really memorable. This is just overall a fantastic time, so... <laughs> well, thanks to the developers for reaching out. I know I got frustrated a couple times, but I hope you did overall enjoy this playthrough. Um, it's... And I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.